Turning to our weather on this Wednesday morning. Keep these gorgeous sunrises coming. Take a look at your screen right now. Stunning. This is over the Camden waterfront. You see the Ben Franklin Bridge there in the distance. Another mm -hmm. beautiful painting in the sky this morning. Oh boy, 638, and that is beautiful. It does look like a painting. It looks like a picture, a picture yes, perfect day that's starting out, Larissa. It, it's beautiful out there. It doesn't feel too humid just yet, but that's eventually heading our way. We're going to notice an uptick in humidity as the day presses on. That's all out ahead of a cold front that's going to be dropping in tomorrow, and that'll set the stage for unsettled weather, at least for the first part of the day, before conditions do trend drier for the second part of the day. And I want to start us off with that cold front. Here it is, Storm Scan 3 picking up on the system behind me. Still crossing the Midwest as we speak. A little bit of activity out towards Ohio. But it's this one. This is the main piece of energy that's going to be moving into our region tomorrow. And that'll set the stage, as I mentioned, for a few showers, a few rumbles of thunder as early as 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So here's a look. Our next cold front arriving closer to 9.30. And you can see the droplets of green out there. Early on, it's not a big deal. We can drive in this. This stuff. Good news is it will be moving in late morning, so I think a lot of you will already either be at school, at work, or off the roads. Either way, if you do have a long day ahead of you, you do have to be on the roads. Just prepare for some wet road conditions as we head towards tomorrow morning. 11 a.m. now shows a bit more activity, but also notice a lot of that activity is south. That's exactly what models continue to be consistent with. The, the rain will continue to move in on through, picking up an intensity across South Jersey. We're talking all of Delaware tapping into some of this moisture, and it could be quite heavy and intense. Once that system crosses, here's a look at 6 30 in the evening, everyone's dry, and then cool air begins to rush in. That's what's going to keep temperatures in the 50s as we head towards tomorrow night, in the 60s by Friday. But there is a nice rebound in time for the weekend. All right. Thank you, Larissa. Next and a beautiful fall day to search for that White House Christmas tree. Not that right. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here with your next weather forecast. Gorgeous day. Yeah. Gorgeous. Not ready to start thinking about Christmas time. No. no. Not just, just yet. yet. A little too soon. Although it's getting close. I we start are. To start shopping. Maybe I start shopping <laughs> at some point. Anyway, let's talk about fall first because all that's on anybody's mind is spooky season and pumpkins and those fall flower boxes and apple picking and what a beautiful weekend it was for all that. If you didn't get a chance to get out this weekend, you'll have next weekend to look forward to or if you're off during the week a couple of great days this week as well here's what to expect this week more 70s ahead for the next two days a few showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder in the forecast though that on thursday and then coming up of course we'll take a look at your seven days so you can plan ahead for those fall activities or maybe just a lot of sports watching or attending as well as we head into the weekend. Storm scan right now is showing nothing much going on locally, but as we widen out, you can see there is a front. You can see this little line of clouds here. This is moving through Pennsylvania, but really fizzling as it does so, and it's going to be pretty much negligible. It's been bringing a couple of showers to portions of southern New England. That's about it. Tonight, I don't even think we see a cloud in the sky from this, and the moon was full last night. It's going to be another beautiful moonlit night out there. 47 degrees. That moon should be a little bit fuller, but our icon has a nice crescent moon for us. It's going to look beautiful tonight. 47 degrees in Philly. It'll drop to 51 down the shore. 40 degrees by the time the sun rises tomorrow morning in the Lehigh Valley. Another chilly night ahead. Across the region tomorrow, again in Philadelphia, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. A beautiful Tuesday, 73 degrees. Down the shore, sunny and mild, 70 degrees. And in the Lehigh Valley, mid 60s, lots of sun, comfortable, pleasant weather. Great day for the kids at the bus stop. It's one of those days, though, you need to dress in layers. Maybe the fleece or the hoodie in the morning. It's 49 degrees at 8 a.m. By noon, we're already up to 67, a huge jump with all that sunshine. 72 when the kids get off the bus. Hopefully they have layers and short sleeves, giving you an A-plus at the bus stop tomorrow. Over the next three days, high pressure in control for now. That front to the north, you can see it really just falls apart as it approaches, and tomorrow is a dry day. Wednesday, you will see an increase in clouds. We'll start the day with a good deal of sun. By the afternoon, just a few more high clouds drifting in. It's still a dry, pleasant day. But then as we get into Thursday, that's when this next front approaches. So the actual cold front is all the way back here. This is Thursday, 11 a.m. You can see a band of rain and thunderstorms here over western Pennsylvania. But there will be the chance for some prefrontal showers to form. So I think even for the morning commute, especially north and west of the city, we'll be looking at the chance for a little bit of rain. Scattered showers throughout the day. The after 
afternoon brings our best chance for thunderstorms, and then we clear that out really, really quickly. So let's talk about Philly's forecast. The first two games, of course, are in Atlanta tomorrow. 76 degrees at first pitch, 107, warm and pleasant. Wednesday, a little bit later in the day, 435, and it's going to be a warm one with just the chance of a stray shower or thunder shower, and those are happening out ahead of that same cold front that will impact us on Thursday. We skip over Thursday, and then the action comes to Philadelphia on Friday. Game time still TBD, but it's 63 degrees, sunny and beautiful in the afternoon. And the Eagles forecast, similarly nice. Now, there is a system that's approaching Sunday night into Monday. As of now, I have kept it dry on Sunday night as the Cowboys come to town. I think we'll have a few clouds. But temperatures will drop from around 60 at kickoff into the mid 50s. If that isn't perfect football weather, I don't know what is. And your next weather seven day forecast has a lot of perfect fall weather. Warm the next two days, we're in the low 70s. There's your chance for rain and maybe a thunderstorm on Thursday. Friday is colder, but dries out. Saturday is beautiful, Sunday is beautiful, and then shower chances return to the forecast early next week. Yuki and Jess will send it back to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much.